Hi guys, welcome to my bedroom. I'm just here in bed. Sorry, I look a mess. I don't really care. I really don't care. Um, I was, I only got like four hours of sleep last night, which I probably look like I got four hours of sleep last night. <laughs> um, but nothing that a little bit of makeup can't, you know, enhance. So this is like my natural phase. I have like a pimple breakout. So I'm pretty much like wondering if, like, is my period going to happen? So my period's been MIA. Um, I have an irregular cycle and it just seems like every year it's like one year is like I have a cycle every month and then the next year it's like fucking maybe once every four months. And then the next year it's like every every month because that's what happened the last three years. So I don't know. I have a weird period, but I only had my period like two or two, three times this year so far. And we're already in September. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. And then it's like, I'll go out and I'll buy a pregnancy test just to take a pregnancy test because I think, oh, well, maybe I'm pregnant because that's a possibility too. But I'm like, I'm not going to waste the money on it. I don't think I'm pregnant. So I don't feel pregnant. What's, what does pregnant even feel like? You know, um, I don't think I'm pregnant though. So I think it's just, my cycle is just all wacko. That's just how it is. I have a wacko cycle and that's just my body. But I am having the signs of PMS, that's for sure. Like for the last three weeks, I've been feeling like moody and um, my skin's starting to break out. I get, I always, this pimple always pops out like right before my period. So I wouldn't be surprised if by like this weekend it starts up, like honestly. So um, anyways, and then I had like a really bad acid reflux attack last night. I hate when I get those. Um, I don't get them often. I get a really bad attack maybe like twice a year um, because I learned my lesson from like eating foods that I shouldn't be eating that would trigger a heart a, a heart attack, a heart attack that would trigger a acid reflex attack. Um, fucking feels like a heart attack. Like it's so painful. It's so painful like to, ha to wake up in the middle of the night from like the acid reflux like coming up your throat oh my god and it burns it's so painful luckily last night though I feel like I woke up right before it was gonna happen so I kind of saved myself that agony and um so I ended up just like I was awake for probably an hour and a half drinking water eating a yogurt to kind of because the yogurt soothes my throat um so I I'll, I'll eat a yogurt or if I have a banana I'll eat a banana um and so <laughs> I was up doing that and just trying to not freak out because then I can ignite my asthma and it's just not a pretty combination. So um, luckily I was able to get everything under control and then like by four, about four o'clock in the morning, oh my God, I was able to fall asleep and I fell asleep like propped up, my pillows propped up so that I could sleep. Oh my God. So what a disaster. So this morning I woke up and um, I have a little bit of, like I'm wheezing just a little bit. And I think it's because my asthma did kick in a little bit um, during my, my acid reflux attack. But it wasn't as bad as it was before. So I've had a really bad like combination of the two and it's just awful. Um, and I'm trying to think like, I didn't eat anything that would ignite the, um, the acid reflux attack, but I did eat late. So I think that's what happened. And I hadn't taken, I haven't taken a heartburn pill in like over a week. I try not to take them every day because it's not good for you to do that. So I try to, I try to only take the heartburn pills when I know I'm going to eat something that could cause the acid reflux. So definitely like if I'm going to eat something pasta with red sauce, um, or, or if I'm going to like a family function, like a barbecue or, um, like a birthday party or somewhere where like, there's going to be, you know, food. And I don't know what is that, what is exactly on the menu. I will, um, I will always take a heartburn pill that morning because you just never know. I'd rather be prepared than not. <laughs> Um, so I try not to take the pill every single day. I take, like I said, I just take it. I try to take it maybe twice a week, but 
it just depends. Sometimes I'd have to take it more often. But I hadn't taken one in a week, so that's why I had that acid reflux attack because it just came up in my own mouth. I'm just so sensitive. It sucks. So anyways, um, this video diary is going to be super chill. Like, I don't even have my tripod. I'm just holding the phone, so sorry if it feels like it's all over the place. Um, but I'm literally, I'm literally just lying in bed. Um, I'm going to get up, shower in like a few minutes. And head out. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go visit my parents this morning. Well, later this this later this morning, this afternoon, right before I go to work, because I haven't seen them in over a week. So I'm gonna go visit them and then go to work. And hopefully, work is just gonna be easy. Like I pray that work is gonna be easy because it was so annoying last night or yesterday. It was just it was just a bad day. <laughs> <clears throat> so um yeah I just want an easy day at work today I just don't want to deal with people I don't want to deal with annoying people and rude people like the summertime I hate the summer season because I feel like more than any other season I feel like the summertime just brings in the shittiest people they're just so rude and you know I understand it's like people's people's moods are like all over the place because it's hot outside but it doesn't mean that you just you know be rude and shit on other people you know what I mean so I can't stand people that are like that especially like if if I'm helping you out like I'm answering a question that you have and I'm helping you out and then if I don't have the answer for you or if I don't know how to help you with your computer issue don't yell at me. You know what I mean? Like, I just can't stand people that are like that. And that's what I got. I got a lot of that yesterday. Like I had a woman yell at me because I just couldn't figure out the fucking problem she had. And I'm like, I don't know. Sorry. I did my best. Maybe you should take a computer class. You know, I'm not a computer teacher. Like I'm not here to teach you how to use the computer. I'm here to answer a question. And if I don't have the answer and you don't know what to do, then sorry. Oh, <sighs> so that was my day yesterday, but today should probably be easier because I'm going to be in the children's room all day and the kids are usually easier to handle. <laughs> they, they ask a lot of questions, but they're, they're not assholes like people, like adults are. So yeah. So anyways, um, my husband's coming home this weekend and I can't wait to guys. He sent me pictures last night. They got their uniforms and they're doing their photo. They're they're getting their photos taken today. So their graduation, like the, the photo that's going to be basically like their photo is what they're taking today or yeah, today. So I told him, I'm like, did you practice your smile? My husband has such a nice smile though. Like he has such a nice smile. So I told him smile with your mouth open because I, I like the way he looks when he smiles with his mouth open. I'm like... Don't be all serious, like smile. Cause my husband, my husband is always smiling. He's always like happy. Like just, he has like a friendly face and you know how sometimes guys like in their photos, they don't smile. They always just want to look straight face or whatever. Or like in those military photos, like how the, the guys are always straight faced and they don't smile. I told him, don't do that. Like smile. Cause that's, that's how you are. You're naturally happy. Like you naturally smile. So don't try to be someone you're not. And um, I told him because it just won't look right. So, yeah. <laughs> so I can't wait to see his photo. And then um, he sent me a picture. He didn't send like a full body photo of him in his uniform, but I was able to see like, you know, a good portion of his uniform on him. And he looks so good. He looks so handsome. And so I'm just like, I'm going to cry my eyes out at your graduation. Like, I'm going to be so happy, but I'm probably going to cry. And he's like, I'll probably be crying too. <laughs> so I can't wait. And I'm going to try and get some really good photos. Um, I don't know how comfortable he's going to be about, you know, me sharing a photo online. So I may or may not. I don't know. But um, his graduation is in three weeks. So super excited. He comes home this weekend. He He's... He might not come home next weekend, and then he's going to come home the weekend after that, and then after that is fucking graduation, and I'll be up there. So, yeah, it's going by so fast. 
like literally this last part is going by so fast. I just wish that the rest of the, I, w I wish the whole seven months was like, like went by this fast because <laughs> it was such a journey. And, um, it's funny because like my friends or people that I'll talk to, like family members or whatever, they're like, oh, that went by so fast. And I'm like, no, it didn't. <laughs> Maybe for you, for him, it definitely didn't. And for me, it, it dragged ass. Like it only went fast the last month, but the other six months of this experience, it dragged and it was lonely. So I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but no, it didn't go fast at all. Um, and yeah. And then also like this experience really taught me, um, the way people are like, I, I was by myself a lot this, the last seven months. And um, you know, a, a good portion of our friends, like mutual friends that me and my husband have, they knew that, you know, his family and stuff. And, you know, his family reached out, his mom reached out to me a couple times. She called me, but then even that kind of tapered off and it was fine. I think it was mainly because I don't, I didn't want to feel like I needed them, you know, like I didn't want to be needy of them, but I did get time. There were times where, I was lonely and I flat out would tell my mom, like, I need you guys to come visit me because I, I need to have human interaction and I miss, I, I just miss someone in my house. <laughs> um, so that, you know, I was utilizing my parents because my parents have the tendency of not, they won't visit, you know, they just don't, they, they're weird. Um, oh my God, my eye thing is like itchy right now. I need to put, um, cream on it and my eyes itchy too because starless fur my morning allergies you guys um and so I don't even remember what I was saying oh but yeah so like a good portion of our friends like I had one friend reach out to me and I could talk about it because she doesn't they don't they don't know they don't know this side of my life and so she reached out to me in text I think it was like last Monday Tuesday I don't know. And she was like, hey, sorry, you know, we haven't been connecting and it's been a while. And I'm like, it's fucking been like over a year. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. And, um, and she was just like, how have you been? And she was asking all these questions about my husband and his graduation and stuff. And I was like, basically like, well, the graduation ceremony is by invitation only. <laughs> And it's, so it's not like you can show up and be there, you know, like you have to have a ticket to get inside. Um, so I was like, we don't know if we're doing a party or anything. He doesn't really want to do a party. I kind of want him all to myself once he's home. <laughs> so, cause he only gets 10 days free and then he has to report to his department that he's going to be working for. So the 14th of October, he'll start working. So I'm just like, we, I don't know if we're going to do a party or not. It's really not in our budget right now. Like we haven't really planned anything. I didn't plan a party cause he didn't want one. So I was like, I don't know. I think we're just going to keep it intimate. It was just like family and go to dinner or something. Um, but it was just kind of like, where were you guys all this time? Like you guys knew I was by myself. Like you guys knew all of this and nobody reached out. No one reached out to me. So I'm just kind of bitter about that. And I'm like, you know, I know I could have reached out to people, but it's like, I'm not even really close with, with those friends anymore. You know, like they're mostly his friends. Like I know them through him. <clears throat> and so they're not really, I don't really consider them like friends, friends. They're just people that, we used to hang out with more often, but then they all had kids. And so I don't see any of them anymore because I just don't relate to that lifestyle, like kids and doing the kids stuff. Um, so I was just kind of like a little annoyed by that. It was nice that she reached out, but at the same time it was like, okay, well, I guess I won't talk to you for like another year. <laughs> so anyways, um, there's that. So it's just kind of like you, I really saw people's true 
people's true colors like through this experience like who who was reaching out to me and who wasn't you know who's who really cared and who doesn't who's who's liking the instagram posts where i'm doing like updates on him you know and who's who's not liking it you know there's a couple people there's a couple people that i'm just noticing stuff so it's just a little annoying but whatever um but yeah <laughs> My friendship circles in my other life, like, because I have, like, double life kind of thing. You guys know. So, not the tarot world, but, like, my other world. All of those friends, I'm just kind of like, eh. <laughs> eh. Um, I really don't consider, they're not really, like, the people I'm going to be texting and talking and pouring my heart out to. Because it's just like, I don't really talk to you guys anymore, you know? So, Yeah. So that text message from her really like threw me for a loop when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. And I even told my husband, I was like, you'll never guess who texted me right now. And he's like, what? <laughs> so, yeah. But I could tell like she was just being nosy. Like she just wanted to know, can we go to his graduation? This and that. And so I kind of, I think I kind of shut that down when I said it was invitation only. And you ain't, you didn't get an invitation. So obviously, no, we can't go. Um... But I think she was just being nosy, like, you know, asking where is he going to be working and this and that. So I don't like that. I feel like it's like you just message just to be nosy and then completely disregard, like, that it's like we don't really talk anymore. So I don't know. That just bugs me. Whatever. Um... So what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I can hear Starla. She's pay playing with her cat toys right now. <laughs> She's always playing. She's so playful. My poor little Starla. Oh, I've been giving um Luna her ointment for her paw. I don't even know if I told you guys. I had to take her to the vet. My husband and I took her to the night, the overnight vet um Saturday night because she looked really irritable with her paw, and um, so one hundred and thirty dollars later. <laughs> The doctor looked at her paw. He said, eh, it looks slightly irritated. I'm going to give her an antibiotic. So she, I've been giving Luna, um, I've been inserting liquid into Luna's mouth through a syringe. And she's she eats it, like she'll eat it, but she does fight with me to open her mouth. So that's been fun. So I have to do that twice a day. Um, and I've been doing it twice a day since Saturday. So the her little bottle of medicine is almost done. I think I have maybe like a day and a half worth of it of it in there, maybe not even. So I'm glad because I'm tired of like wrestling with her just to open her mouth. And I feel bad too. It's like, you know, squirting this like medicine that's probably doesn't taste good and she's probably just like over it, but I don't want her paw to get infected. So <clears throat> and um I think she got it from Starla because the doctor, the vet was like, do you have a kitten? And I'm going, yes. <laughs> He's like, oh, chances are the kitten probably bitter or whatever because she had a little, like a little flap of skin from the pad of her foot um, was coming off. And so he said it was probably due to like a little bite or whatever. So we didn't want it to get worse and I wanted her to be comfortable. So I was like, nope, we got to take you to the vet. And she was not happy about that. Like, putting her in that crate, I told my husband, you put her in there because you could be the one that she's, like, looking at with hate. Because that cat has gone through so much, and I'm always the person that has to do it. Like, I'm always the bad guy. So it's no wonder that Luna doesn't really favor me. And um, so I finally told my husband, you take her. Like, you're putting her in the crate. So he saw how the struggle was, and I was just like, I had to go through that by myself that one that one weekend that like traumatized me. <laughs> I would never want to go through that ever again. So yeah, my poor Luna. Oh, you guys, I guess I should go. It's already what, 20 minutes. I better go. I need to take a shower and get ready. I look scary. All right, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Sorry, this video diary sucked. But I have other things I got to do. So talk to you guys later. Bye.